Hi, I'm Hannah, your host. You are about to go on a learning adventure into the Times Tales, and by the end of this video, you will know your upper times tables in a snap. This may not be the traditional way to learning your times tables, but I can assure you it's the fastest and definitely the most fun. For the next 30 minutes, I will guide you through the six easy steps of part one. As you begin to go through the first steps of the program, don't try to figure out how Times Tales works, just learn the stories. By step four, everything will start to make sense, and you will realize those stories you just learned are really hidden multiplication problems. Times Tales video is divided into two parts, which takes about 30 minutes each to complete. Begin with part one and work through all six steps of the program. I recommend allowing at least one week after completing part one before beginning part two. During this time, the multiplication facts can be reviewed and practiced by utilizing the flashcards, test, and other reinforcements that comes with your Times Tales printables. The first step to learning the Times Tales is to get to know each character and the number they represent. Here's our butterfly. Can you see the number three? This chair will show up in several of the tails. As you can see, it also looks like the number four. This boy represents the sixth grade class. Do you notice their heads are shaped like the number six? I wanna introduce you to Mrs. Week. We call her that because she looks like a seven and we all know there are seven days in a week. There is also a Mr. Week, but you won't see him unless he is with his wife, Mrs. Week. Hello, pleased to meet you. This is Mrs. Snowman. Don't you think she looks a lot like the number eight? She also has a husband, Mr. Snowman, but you will only see him when he's with his sweetheart, Mrs. Snowman. This treehouse is our final character in the tales you are about to learn. If you look closely, you can see the number nine within the tree. Do you remember the names you just learned? Let's try a quiz! Now it's time to see if you can remember the characters. When the questions come up, see if you can answer before the time runs out. What is the name of this? Name this character. What is this called? Now that you know the characters, you are ready to move on to the next step. Mrs. Week sat on a chair and fished. She caught two boots and eight trout. How did those two boots get down there? Do you think she'll snag them? Boots? Ew. Looks like Mrs. Week is going to have a good dinner tonight. Eight tasty fish for dinner. Oh, she snagged eight trout all at once. What do you suppose she's going to do with her two boots and eight trout? Remember, Mrs. Week sat on a chair and fished. She caught two boots and eight trout. There were two tree houses. The first tree house grew eight apples and the second grew only one apple. 
Have you ever seen a treehouse in an apple tree before? I wonder what caused one tree to grow eight apples while the other tree only grew one. Don't forget, there were two tree houses. The first tree house grew eight apples, and the second grew only one apple. Are you ready to test your memory? Let's try a quiz! Now it's time to see if you can remember the times tales. When the questions come up, See if you can answer before the time runs out. You will have approximately three to five seconds to answer each question. Good luck! What did Mrs. Weeks sit on when she fished? A chair. How many boots did Mrs. Weeks catch? She got two boots. How many fish did she catch? She got eight fish. There were two tree houses. What did they grow? They grew apples. How many apples did the first tree house grow? Eight apples. How many apples did the second tree house grow? It grew only one apple. Now it's your turn to tell the story. When you hear this sound, pause the video and say the story out loud. Then hit play and see if you got it right. It's very important that you say the story in the proper order. Here's an example of the wrong way to say the story. Mrs. Weeks sat on a chair and fished. She got eight trout and two boots. And here's how you say the story the correct way. Mrs. Weeks sat on a chair and fished. She got two boots and eight trout. Now it's your turn to say the stories. Let's begin. There were two tree houses. The first tree house grew eight apples and the second grew only one apple. Mrs. Weeks sat on a chair and fished. She got two boots and eight trout. Now that you know the stories, it's time to try the flashcards. Did you know there's a multiplication problem hiding in each story you just learned? Are you ready to find them? Let's see how it works with the practice flashcards. This flashcard is for the multiplication problem 7 times 4. Remember, Mrs. Week represents the number 7, and the chair the number 4. You may think you don't know the answer, but you do! The answer is hiding in the story. To solve this multiplication problem, all you have to do is remember the times tale that had Mrs. Week and the chair. There was only one story with both of those characters. Mrs. Week sat on a chair and fished. She got two boots and eight trout. 7 times 4 is 28. Now it's your turn to try the flashcards. When you hear this sound, pause the video and say the answer to the flashcard out loud. Then hit play and see if you got it right. Remember, all you have to do is think of the story that goes with the two characters in the flashcard. The answer is hiding in the story. And since you know the story, you know the answer. Let's begin. Nine times nine. Eighty-one. Four times seven. Twenty-eight. Let's test your new skills with the multiplication challenge. Now let's try the flashcards without the symbols. When the flashcards come up, see if you can answer before the time runs out. Get ready!
Congratulations! You have made it to the final step of part one. Now it's time to try out your new multiplication skills with a written test. The tests are located in the printables that came with your Time Sales program. These can be printed directly from your computer. Before you take the real test, you might want to take the practice test first, which includes the characters. I recommend allowing at least one week after completing part one before beginning part two. During this time, the multiplication facts can be reviewed and practiced. Wasn't that easy?